channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Let's get started because I'm gonna tell you everything that this one comes with. And then let me know if, in the comments down below if you guys have a 10 quart and if you got a basket with yours. Because sometimes you get different um, like things with the air fryers. I know with my other one, I ended up getting uh, like an oil sprayer with one of mine and then my other one I didn't. So each one might be a little bit different maybe depending on where you purchase it. It comes with a quick start and a bunch of paperwork. So in here they have a recipe book, they have the warranty, they also have an owner's manual, here is the quick start, and then this, this is for the rotisserie, so it'll let you know how to get started with the rotisserie, and then this one is for air frying. On top it comes with this little tool that helps you put your uh, rotisserie in and out. So this is part of the rotisserie also that comes on top. If you guys do not receive that with yours, find out in your book if yours came with it or not. Little safety things on the side, so we'll pull them off quick. And then it comes with a plastic thing right here too. Okay, this one comes with a screen on here. I don't have it plugged in, but this is still like the touch screen comes with a light and then it has pretty much everything that I have on my other air fryer. It has the temperature control and then the timing. And then this one also has where you can dehydrate food. So it's one of the things I've never did in my other air fryer yet. So eventually I'll try that out. Okay, so with this one, it pulls down just like, kind of like a pizza oven. Um, and then inside here, which this is like one of the things we were so confused with on our box, we didn't really know what it was. So with this, I'm gonna show you quick. With this one, you're able to put this in. Okay, so that opens up and then inside is part of uh, the rotisserie part that you put on either roast or your chicken that you wanna put in there. So you would be putting a whole chicken in there. And uh, the pans that you will be using for this. It also comes with a drip tray right on the bottom and then the trays, oh, the trays go like this. And make sure you guys clean out everything first before you use it, just so that it's nice and clean um, before you start putting food in it. All right, so with this, you are able to put fries in here, chicken nuggets, fries, roasted nuts, and other snacks. So you could put multiple things in here if you don't wanna put them right on the tray. This just helps it rotate. The other air fryer, I keep looking over there because my other one is over there, but with that one, you had to flip in between and then this will just keep everything rotating. So that is kind of cool. I'm kind of excited to try this one out. When you're using your basket, this goes in just like your rotisserie. So you want to put it this side first and on, on this side it has like a little groove that it rests on. Okay. So then that is how you put this one in and then you also are going to be using this attachment to take it out. So it comes out just like that. So that makes things a little bit easier than putting your hand on hot metal. Um, make sure you guys are wearing like gloves and stuff with it also. But I like that they give you that option to do that. So but it is big enough for you guys to still use one tray at a time and you are able to put something in here and not add any of the other trays. So you can do multiple different things if you wanna play around with it. One of the other things too with your, this is what it tells you that you can get in your air fryer. I just don't have the basket and the handle. So something that I will be purchasing separate. Okay, so for the rotisserie part, it gives you an example in here on how to use your rotisserie spit, it's called. And it shows you how to add your pieces and everything to the sides of 
whatever you are making. What you're gonna wanna do is put the little screws that come in the bag with your rotisserie attachment. You're gonna put that in right there and then when you position the, the pole on there, then you just tight, tighten that on there like that. So you're gonna wanna put it on wherever size that you need it for whatever you are cooking. I'm gonna push this one a little bit further on. There we go. Okay, so you're gonna wanna push it in like that. And then inside here, there is little slots that you will be, that you put that in there. Then you just flip this over and on here, they have an option to push for rotisserie chicken or roast or whatever. When you are finished cooking the rotisserie chicken, you are going to be wanting to use this so you don't get burnt. You can put gloves on also and you slide it right in and it has a little area that it holds onto that you are able to pull out what you are cooking. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I will be trying this out. I have a video with a whole chicken in my other air fryer, but this allows it to cook all the way around versus in a regular air fryer. I never did a roast in my air fryer, so this is gonna be nice for us to try that out in here. So that's a couple of the extra options for in here. And then another thing that you can do with this is you can put in one tray, you can put two trays in or three trays in, and you are able to cook multiple things. So if you're going to be cooking like chicken breast, do that down here. And then if you're going to have like vegetables and stuff that you want to cook, put that here. And then anything else that you want to cook, you can put up here. So I would first start with the chicken down here, just so everything doesn't leak on top of like your vegetables and stuff. So that'll be good. So in your recipe book, there is so many different options for you to cook in here. This one is going to be different than your other air fryer recipe because it gives you a lot more options with that rotisserie in there. So, so they also show you how to do like dried orange slices if you want to do like dehydration with stuff like that. So make croutons, you can make beef jerky, uh, dried herbs, and what else can you make in here? We saw one in here that is tacos, and I don't have the little taco, um, little piece that goes in, but we are going to be looking into it. There's just a little metal thing that holds onto the taco. So we are gonna be looking into getting that because we wanna try this recipe out. They have so many different recipes in here and I don't think they offer a lot of this online. So this is the only way I think that you can get this. But I will be trying out some of these throughout the next couple Fridays. I usually do my air fryer videos either on a Friday or every other Friday, depending on when I can get something out. But I wanted to share this with you really quick because with Christmas coming up, this is a perfect gift for somebody that is maybe just cooking for two or three or four people and you don't wanna start your oven. So this is a great option. You can put personal uh, size pizzas in here. You can make your own pizzas. We've made so many different things in our other air fryer. So you have so many different options. With this air fryer, we're hoping that we can cook a little bit more than in our other one or combine them both and use them both. We love using our air fryer. It is like a great option for us. We still use our stove, but not as much. So we love, um, we love using them. Hopefully I covered everything for you guys today. I wanted to make this one really quick because I know that some of my other ones were a little long and not to the point. So I wanted to kind of quick show you guys some of the stuff that it comes with and how to use it. So if you guys have any questions, just leave them down in the comments and I can help you with anything that you would like. All my air fryers that I've ever used is the Power XL, so I wouldn't know any other option. This is just what we prefer and what we've been using. So we found a lot of good deals with using the Power XL. They have so many different kits. If you guys are looking for a kit for your 
regular air fryers. I have everything listed down below. I'll try to list one of these down below if you guys are interested in the 10 quart. And then I also have, uh, I think it's a seven quart, eight quart listed down below. I will try to leave my playlist for my air fryer videos down there also. I'll leave a link up above and you guys can go check out my latest unboxing, my updated one. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.